Hello and welcome to the video. This is an update on how I've been getting on with some of these rechargeable batteries. Uh, these are these XTAR AA batteries. There's actually LiPo technology in here, but delivers one and a half volts. I've been using them for quite a few months now and wanted to kind of give you an update on how those are going. Uh, but, you know, without giving away too many spoilers, they've been going well enough that I've actually gone and got myself some AAA versions as well for the other stuff that I'm using here. Now, these are quite cute little devices they are rechargeable batteries and they do deliver a solid one and a half volts almost to the end of the cycle they have like a little dip at the end i'll talk about later which means that any device you're using it with will let you know when the battery is ready to be recharged as well as that there's a little led on the end which shows you when it's charging but also comes on when it's time to recharge them too so i thought with the experience that i now have had an extra three months using these things i could talk about what's going on and also take a look at these new AAA versions so i have had quite a few questions about how these things actually work particularly in that first video because a lithium ion or a lithium polymer cell is going to be from usually 3.5 to 4.2 volts and these are 1.5 volt cells so how does that actually work well, inside here are actually two major components. It isn't just a battery like you'd expect in an alkaline cell. It is actually a little LiPo battery. And then alongside the LiPo battery, there is a DC to DC converter. Now that little DC to DC converter actually does an awful lot of jobs, as well as taking the four 4.2 volts that's in the LiPo cell that's inside this thing down to the 1.5 volts. It also provides a lot of additional protection. So it kind of runs the little LED on the side that blinks on and off when you're charging it. It's also the LED that comes on when it's ready to recharge. It's also there for overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, sort of circuit protection. So it actually makes the battery an awful lot safer in my humble opinion. But that does mean then that we have a regular sized AAA battery, as the one that we're looking at today, which will fit in and also charge very quickly. Now I've used them in lots of different places here. I've used them in radio control radios, microphones, and in fact the microphone I'm using right now is actually has them inside and is powered by these cells and also inside some cameras too, and they're working great. They do emit a little RF noise though. That DC to DC converter, the way it works is it's chopping up the higher voltage into pulses and then smoothing that out so it actually ends up at the one and a half volts. That high frequency chopping can cause interference in the AN bands. However, I've had zero issues with all of the radio mics and things that I'm using here. And also, interestingly, when I've used it in radios for the hobby using the 2.4 gig stuff that we tend to use a lot here. Now, these new AAA versions of these batteries, uh, there's a new L44 Bay charger. Just be aware that you have to have a decently powered USB charger in order to plug it into to charge the thing and to get it all working. Some of the older low power chargers I've had here haven't had enough current available to power everything with this L4. This new AAA battery is a 1.5 volt constant source and it takes about 1.9 hours to fully charge it from empty. It's going to last about 1200 cycles so replace 1200 other disposable batteries and they're stating a 1620 milliwatt hour energy inside this which is about a thousand milliamp hours capacity. The other thing that's worth mentioning about these is that the output from these things is pretty flat right until the last kind of five, eight percent of the battery. And it will then drop the output to a lower voltage to allow the standard kind of low voltage or battery needs replacing alarms that are normally expecting to be using things like alkaline batteries. That actually works really well. Just be aware of that. I've got into the habit once I've been using these for a month or two in these devices, I will kind of swap them out for a fresh pack and recharge the others rather than wait for it to go down to that lower level but it does mean that if you have a device that has some kind of led or lcd warning on the display to let you know when the batteries are coming to their end point they'll let you know plus the led will illuminate as well to let you know that it's time to recharge which are quite cute touches i've seen other cells that don't have that kind of functionality so in summary, I really like these and which is why I've got myself a set of the AAA. The AA's are working incredibly well for me and saving me a lot of money buying lots of alkaline cells. Lots of people commented in the original video that they were worried about their performance, about their safety. I can only talk to the experience that I've had here and so far. 
so good. They have worked incredibly well and I'm very happy with them. I'm finding them they're particularly good for those devices that really want 1.5 volt batteries rather than the 1.2 volt rechargeables, things like NICADs that I've tried to use in the past. Not all devices like them and these will work with pretty much everything. The only downside, well, there's only two really. The first is that AM noise from that DC-DC conversion that's happening inside the cell to take the LiPo cell down to the 1.5 volts that the battery actually delivers will produce a little bit of AM noise. So they're probably not great for inside things like radios. However, as I said, in radio control, we use much higher frequencies and I've not found anything where I've encountered that noise yet. And also there is that little bit of warning right at the very end to let you know it's time to replace them. I think personally, it would have been nicer if they'd have tailed off in a similar way to an alkaline battery that would have made the low voltage detection a little bit better in some of the devices that I'm using here. But again, these are the X-Star latest versions. These are the higher capacity AAA batteries that they have just released. I'll put a link down below if you want to go and check them out. If, like me, you were going through lots and lots of packs of alkaline cells. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.